Hello everybody, welcome back to Inside Pitch uh, by Inside Sports Games, Chris Davis. We have uh, July 1st, 1980, we have the Twins visiting the Royals. Royals are still without George Brett, but he should be getting back shortly. I miss a couple of my stars right, right now as Schmitty's out also for my fills. Um, anyway, Minnesota's 33-40. and 40. Royals are 43 and 31. Twins put out uh, Roy Smalley shortstop at batting first. John Casino third base batting second. Ron Jackson first base batting third. Jose Morales DH and batting fourth. Pete McInnes second base batting fifth. Dave Edwards center field batting sixth. Rick Sofield left field batting seventh. Oscar Powell right field batting eighth. Sal Batera catching batting ninth. And on the mound for them is Jeff Razon. He's five and nine with a four nine eight ERA, a little high. A lot of hits and pretty high on walks too. Not really good on strikeouts. Now um, for the Royals, Willie Wilson, uh, center field, batting first. UL Washington, shortstop, batting second. John Wathen, left field, batting third. Hal McRae, DH, and batting fourth. Daryl Porter, catching, batting fifth. Clint Hurdle, right field, batting sixth. Willie Aikens, uh, first base, batting seventh. Frank White, second base, batting eighth. Dave Chalk, third base, and batting ninth. And that'll bring, uh, they'll be putting uh, Paul Split off up on the mound. He's four and six with a 412 ERA. I'll see if these guys can start picking up some wins. Split off, uh, got a Load the game. There we go. Colors are right now. Um, Split off in real life is 14 11 with a 415 ERA, so he needs to get some run support and start getting some wins. Um, he'll be facing Roy Smalley. Smalley's batting 296, got 10 home runs already. Um, it's two away from real life, so uh, he's at a uh, little over half, no, right around half of his at bats, and he's really kicking ass on his home runs. Anyway, to pitch to him, 13. Walk, possibility, 15. We're subtracting one to so against the lefty. That's going to be 11. No go. Smalley's card, 46. F7. Flies out to the left fielder. John Castino, batting 267. Pitch to him, 62. Possible strikeout, 7. Against the left-handed pitcher, minus 4. Nothing. Batter's card, 51, single. All right, Ron Jackson comes up, batting 233. He is uh, one of their power hitters, supposedly, in this game, but he's only got five homers for the year, and he's only done one for me so far. Uh, Stratty's roll, said bunt. Nah. Not with the heart of the order, and we just started the game. Um, pitching away, 51. Error on the throw, 64. F8, there will be no throw. Maybe I should have had a pin. And um, Jose Morales comes up. He's batting 400. He's got two homers on 80 at bats. And uh, in real life, he batted 303, had eight homers. They really don't have a lot of uh, blasts in this lineup. Um, pitch to him, 61. What strategy roll first? Nothing. 61 is the pitch, blank space. 52, out one to three. Down they go in the top of the first. That'll bring up Willie Wilson batting 332 against Jeff Zahn. Jeff Zorn in real life was 14 and 18 with a 4-4-1 ERA. He gave up a lot of hits and was right around where he's at on walks and strikeouts. So, um, you know, he's definitely staying par. Pitch to Wilson, 25. Possible strikeout, 5. Wilson's an 11 minus 4 is 7. That's still a strikeout. And brings up UL Washington, batting 272. 
pitched to him, 23. Another possible strikeout. We got a 20 that's not going to happen this time. 53, fly out the right field. Pretty sure the Royals have been struggling lately also. Um, John Wathen comes up. Pitch to him. He is batting 308. And the pitch to him, 61. Against the righty is nothing, 66. Out 4-3. to three. And they go down 1-2-3. Real quick, draw up my replay and see how these fared in the last uh, 10 games. All right. Kansas City Royals, they, yeah, they're 3-7 and seven in their last 10 games. They let Oakland take over the lead somewhere along the line. Oakland went on that 9-1 and one spurt, 1-8 one in a row. And the Royals, just, they've got to get it back in there. You see their ERI is, e, <clears throat> E-R-A is, is, is pretty bad, um, as are most in this division, but, um, yeah, that's they're on it. They're on a drop. They need Brett back bad. <clears throat> okay, Pete Mackinnon comes up batting two sixty five. Pitch to him forty five. Possible walk seven. We're subtracting once. So that's not going to happen. Twenty four against the lefties. A double to eight. Mackinnon gets on with the double. Yeah, they should be beating teams like the Twins. Um, Dave Edwards comes up batting 223, 250 in real life. Strategy rolls nothing. 12, nothing. 43, out 5 to 3. He'll advance on a 6 and does not. Out 5 to 3. All right, Rick Sofield comes up. Pitch to him, 17. Bunt, not with a guy on second. Um, 54. Range play, 36. That'll be another double. And an already split, split horse finding himself in trouble here. Down one to nothing with three hits given up and not even two innings yet. Hoskin Powell comes up at 218. Strategy roll says nothing, 43. Possible walk, 13. Nothing there. Batter's card, 24. Out four to three. He will advance. That'll bring up Sal Butera. Strategy's roll nothing. Butera's batting 265 and 34 at bats. Pitch 55. Nothing against the righty. 44. F7. Gets out of the inning, but he gives up a run. Consecutive doubles, or not consecutive, but um, two doubles. And, um, now, Kansas City has some work to do. Hal McRae comes up, bat 246. Pitch to him, 16. Possible strikeout, 5. He is a 10 against the lefties, and a minus 4 makes him a 6, so that's a strikeout. Zahn's digging in and shutting him down. Harold Porter comes up, bat 290. Pitch to him, 56, possible strikeout, 20, will not be a strikeout, 1-1, one, one, F7. And that brings up Clinton Hurdle bat 309, 294 in real life, 22, blank space, 36, L4, and they go down 1-2-3, no response for the uh, run by the Twins. Roy Smalley comes up for a second time, about 295 now. Um, six ones, nothing. Thirty-one F nine. He goes down. Blew out last last at bat too. Brings up John Castino batting two seventy. Singled last time. Pitched to him fifty-five. Against the righty is nothing. Sixty-six is another single. Single through first base. Brings up Ron Jackson batting two thirty-one. He flew out last time. Strategy roll nothing. Pitch to Jackson, 22, hit by pitch, a minus 8, minus 5, uh, plus 5, it's nothing, 62, D7, 
and um, here goes the hit parade again. D7. First to home is minus one. Uh, plus minus two. So he'll be a one. I'm not going to force that issue. We'll just stick with the double. And that brings up Jose Morales about 395. He uh, grounded out to end the inning last inning. I'm not going to do those steals. I don't steal home unless I got somebody in there. It's really dangerous. And actually, in all fairness, it's supposed to be like divided by fives. My um, math, not math, but I got to re refine my formula to make sure that um, a one for anybody anybody um less than five won't work but i i know what i'm looking at we won't run that 33 to pitch to him goes to the ballpark 55 question mark seven three that's gonna be more runs single to three and single to three will bring home a runner on four plus he is a four and he's getting buried now All right, Pete Mackinnon comes up, batting 270. Strategy roll says nothing, pitch 24, blank space, batter's card 52, out 5 to 3, looking for the double play. 2, 0, 3, gets a 3, 5, 4, 3, double play, gets out of the inning, but more damage is done. They're now behind 3 nothing. he's given up 6 hits in 3 innings. And um, brings up Akins, and they have yet to muster a base runner. Akins are batting 323. 34, blank space, batter's card 54. Star line 2 is out 5 to 3. And brings up Frank White. Pitch to White. Uh, White is batting 282. 264 in real life, 55 K plus against, but he's not a lefty. 23 out five to three. They're just letting it, letting it look simple for Rizon out there today. Dave Chalk filling in for George Brett, batting 242. 66 possible wild, nobody on. 26 was the repitch, EG. 55 F9, no error check. 1, 2, 3, down go the. The Royals again. Dave Edwards comes up at 221. Grounded out last time. Pitch 62. Possible strikeout 17. Uh, too high. Yes. 33. Out 5 to 3. That'll bring up Rick Sofield batting 232, 247 in real life, 15, possible home run, 9. Uh, against the left-handed batter, passes him. Against the lefty, he needs a 5. And he gets it, and their day just continues. Sofield puts up another home run. That's his fourth for the year. And the Royals are now down 4 to nothing. Uh, House Compel. Batting 217, batted uh, 262 in real life, and we're down to one batter, one hit or run left, or one base or run, one hit left, and um, split or done. 21, possible error, 42, F7, 9, 7, uh, 6, so that's F9. And Salbutera comes up. That 257, 63, blank space 26, star line 5 out of 7. Now he gets through yet another damaged inning. And um, bring up Willie Wilson. I'm going to pause this real quick. All right. I think we got, yep, got sound back. I was going so long, my headset turned off. Now, Willie Wilson's coming up next, batting 331. Um, oh, boy. <clears throat> Fourth inning. Zahn's got a shutout going on. 
pitch to Wilson. 15, possible strikeout. He's batting right, though. 36, question mark 7 to 14 against the lefty is going to be a triple. So they get their first hit, and it's a big one. All right, UL Washington, about 271 steps to the plate. Strategy roll, nothing. Pitch, 33. Hit by pitch, minus 6, 0, nothing. 34, start line 1, out 4 to 3. I don't have the infield in. And he's a 4, so I'm just going to take the out and let the run score. And that puts the... Uh, Royals are on the board, down 4-1 to one now. John Watson will come up, 307. Everybody on base, 33, hit by pitch. Nothing again, 14, G6, out 6-3. to three. So he goes down. Ground out, shortstop to first base. Brings up Hal McGray, about 245. Pitch, 26. Air on the ground, 34. Question mark, 7. Eight against the lefty is a single. Now they're starting to get the hits. Second time around. Oh, what am I doing? One to three, four. All right, Daryl Porter steps up. About 288. Strategy roll, nothing. Pitch, 65. Single one, but he's not tired. 61, out four to three. And that will be the end of them for that inning, but at least they pick one back up. And Roy Smalley comes up at 293. Splitorf is trying to stay in there. He can face eight more batters if he just doesn't give up any more hits or base runners. 63, nothing. 23, single to eight. There it is. He's done. They've just seen enough of the hit parade against him. That's eight hits, four runs on in five, not even five innings, four innings pitch. I'll pull him out. Fifth inning. Going to bring in, looks like Gary Christensen is going to come in. And this is what, this is why they're on a three and three and seven skid in the last 10. Been painful to watch. But that's why we do replays. We want to see what would happen if we did it or if things went differently. So, um, Christensen pitched to Casino. Strategy roll, pickoff. Five. Nothing. I already rolled the pitch. So, we got the 1-5. EG. 46. F7. No check for the error. One down. And I forgot to introduce Christensen, too. He's 4-1 and one with a 4-6-6 ERA. Ryan Jackson comes up at 237. Strategy roll, nothing. Pitch to him, 54. Goes to the ballpark, 24. Single plus nine. He's a four. Nine's a one. That's a five. Yep, he's got it. That's a double. Double to nine. Minus one is going to be a. Uh, Plus one there, zero. He's a two. We'll roll. Two, gets it. Smalley goes home on the double by Jackson, and they've gotten the run right back. That one's also charged the split or Jose Morales comes up. Got 402. Strategy roll. Fun, nah, not happening. 41, possible home run, 13. Against the... Righty is a six, so that's not happening. Morales' card, 24, single to seven. Wow. Second to Holmes, plus one. Minus one for a uh, left fielder, so that's a four. Gets a six. So now we got to roll this. and He's a minus one. So one to four, we go to the third die roll. We get a one. So we go to the third die roll. Three. Lead runner thrown out. If, if roll is higher than the uh, trailing runner's base VR, then he, he holds. Otherwise, advances. So he's going to be out. And that's a single to seven, seven to two. And Morales needs to roll one to 
to advance and he will not. So single out at home. Six seven put out two. And that'll bring up Pete Mackin and two sixty eight. Dradi's roll, nothing pitch. I'll try to get them through this inning. Forty six. Nothing thirty two. Single to six. Man. The hip rate definitely continues. Single to six. We have four plus to advance. He's a one, so that's gonna be station to station. That's our eleventh hit. Dave Edwards. Strategy. Can't steal. The bases are blocked. Pitched forty one. Possible home run, 18, does not get past the pitcher's card. 21, start line 4, out 5-3, to three, and get out of the inning, but another disaster. Lots of base runnings. Oh, come on, Greg. I don't know what's wrong with me sometimes. Associate, triple with third base, uh, and I'm doing it again. Up 5-3. All right, Clint Hurdle will be up then, up at 308. Pitch to him, 52, possible strikeout against the lefty. It's a 9. He is a 15, minus 4 is 11, so that's a strikeout. And brings up Willie Akins. Batting 322. Pitch, 61. That's a star line. Six out five to three, and now bringing up uh, Frank White. Pitch to him forty-two against the righties a single, so they get another hit. Dave Chalk comes up at two forty. Wish they had Brett in here. Um, no strategy. Pitch fifteen. Possible strikeout, but not against the righty. Thirty-one single to nine. He does his job. Gets a hit. First and thirds plus two. He's a four. That's going to be automatic. Actually, plus another one because it's uh, two outs. So, more than automatic. And that'll bring up Willie Wilson with runners on the corner and two out. at 333. Pitch 66. Wild. 15. Not a wild pitch. Repitch 61. A star line against the lefty, but he's batting right because he is the lefty. So 54, F8, and they get out of the inning again. So I'm starting to show some cracks in his armor in this game, but he's still pitching a darn good uh, outing for for five innings. Um, sixth inning, we're going to have to bring another pitcher in because uh, Christensen went black. Let's see who I got left. We're not rolling anybody else. We got Eastwick out there and Quisenberry. Well, Quisenberry I wouldn't bring in. It's going to be Eastwick. Rolly Eastwick will come in to pitch in sixth. Got to get some innings out of him because we're starting to run out of pitchers already. Yeah, we just got Quisenberry left. I don't think Dora does any relieving. He's good for two innings if he can keep him off the bases. Sofield will come up. Actually, three innings if he uh, can keep him off the bases. Sofield comes up at 236. He's got a homer and a double this game. Pitch 25, ET. 31 against the righties, a G3. His error is a 9. we got a 16. That's out 3-1. to one. Huskin Powell. Pitch to him, 21. Against the left, he's going to be a single. Ball pits on the game. Salvatera comes up, strategy roll. Well, actually, we don't need to do strategy roll anymore in the sixth inning, so we'll ignore all that. 36. Blank, 34. S5. Good Lord Almighty, I'm going to run out of pitchers. Six plus. He will not advance. And that's 13 hits in six innings. Roy Smalley comes up. Pitch 16. Range play. 1-1. One, one. Question mark 9. That's a 12 against the righty. Is a F9. 9 to 3. 
We roll a five. We roll a one, so that's just a single to nine. Second to Holmes plus one. Plus two. That's an easy score. And we got a roll for Butera. He's not going to advance. There to get yet another run, and it's becoming a route now. Raleigh Eastwick, uh, five, one and zero oh, with an eight four nine ERA in eleven innings. They just haven't been getting anything from their pitching staff. Castino pitched to him. Thirty one, ballpark, twenty five F nine. I really need him to get some innings because we're running out of pitchers. So all I got left, I think, is Quisenberry, and I can't get two or three innings out of him. Maybe two. Jackson. Ditch, 25, E.T., 42, 5 to 3. He's a 7. We got a 19 out, 5 to 3. So he gets out of that inning. And that brings up uh, UL Washington, 270 in the 6th. Against Zahn. Zahn's still pitching strong, 45, E.T., 54 G3. He's an 8. We rolled an 8, so that's going to be a one base error. And we roll 4. Just going to be a one base error. John Wathen will come up. Pitch 31. No star line because he's a righty. 55. Question mark 9. 4 against the lefty is a single. Single to 9 is going to be plus 2. He's a three, that's five. Gets a five, UL Washington goes to third. All right, how many gray comes up? 56, uh, possible strikeout. 31, start line four, out six to three. Oh, boy. We're going to have to try the uh, double play. Let the runner score. Three, four. Um, four. And they get it. Six, four, three, double play. But that's going to allow UL Washington to go home. All right, and that'll be Daryl Porter coming up with bases empty then. About 287 pitch, 63, nothing. 65, out three unassisted. And the Royals pick up another run. Oh, boy. And I hit a wrong button again. Jose Morales comes up. Look at all this green. That's just a disgusting uh, score sheet for the uh, for the uh, pitching staff of the Royals. Jose Morales batting 410. He's got two singles and a ground out. And um, pitching to him will be 25 ET. 42, single to nine, no error check. They get yet another hit. And he's black already, but I'm gonna, i got to get him through this inning. Uh, Mackinac comes up, grounded a double play, doubled and singled. Pitch to him, 62, possible walk, he's a righty, no go. 1-1, one, one, star line 3 is G3, try for that 3-6-3 three, three double play. 2-2 two is two 0, 0, got 1, 1 chance. And he gets it, holy crap, 3-6-3 three, three double play. Bare minimal chance, and they got it. 363. Three. Dave Edwards. Pitch 64. Be a possible strikeout 13. He's a 20 minus 4 is a 16. That's a strikeout on Edwards. He's been consistent up to this point. Grounded out the third every time. This time he struck out. All right, brings up Jeff Zahn, pitching to the Royals in the seventh. Hurdle, 14, 
walk plus. Against the lefty, he, that'll be a 19, 18. We rolled a 9. That's a walk. Doing some kinks in his armor now. Uh, Willie Aikens. Of no strategy. Pitch, 51. Possible strikeout. 16's too high. 54. Star line, 2. That's an out. 5 to 3. Try to double play. 4, 5. 5, 4, 3. Double play it is. 2 out. That's the second double play they've grounded into today. Uh, brings up Frank White, bat 283. One for two, pitch 62, possible error 23, G5. His error is an eight. We rolled a six. That's going to be a booted ball, G5. And that'll be Dave Chalk coming up. Pitch 51, possible strikeout. No strikeout, too high, 1-1. One, one. Against the lefties, now 6-3. to three. Go down. And, um, well, Austwick's now tired. I think all I got left is Quisenberry with two innings left. So I can bring him in and try and stretch him. Yeah, they're the only three I got, so it's going to be Quisenberry. And he is uh, five and zero with a two four seven ERA, fourteen saves. Definitely ain't getting a save here. He needs to just get a good outing. Um, in real life, he was uh, two and uh, twelve and seven, three or three saves, three point one six ERA. Um, Sorry about that. What they all whistle there. Um, President Mary's pitch to Sofield. 56. Possible walk. 13. A no go. Too high. 1 1. Be a 4 3. Dude. Out 4 to 3. House Compel. Pitch to him. 35. Range play at. We go to the ballpark. 41. Blank space. We go to a rare play. Gotta be quick. Um, sorry, interruptions. Twenty-two third base chase chases foul ball in the stands. Resolve as a P five range play. Dave Chalk is a one. That'll be a repitch if he doesn't get it because it says uh, chases it into the stands. So. And we roll one, he does get it. Then we got to check for an injury to Chalk. And I'm pretty sure he's like a six, and that four is going to be an injury anyway. Who do I got to bring in? Do I have anybody for third base? Yeah, we're going to probably ignore that because um, I right, got Jamie Quirk. He'll come in five and nine. If I don't have the player, I'm not going to do it. But I do have the player. Jamie Quirk will come in. And we'll repitch to him. All right. Hoskin Pal, repitch. Thirty-three question marks. Seventeen no go. Batter's card fifty-three. Four to three out. And Salby Terra about two seventy. Pitch to him forty-two. Ballpark fifty-two. F nine. Quisenberry gets him one two three, and I think that is yes. It, it is the first one two three real inning. They did get one before because of a double play, but. Out of nine. He definitely did his job there. Willie Wilson. Trying to get something going against Zahn. 63. Blank space. 62. 
question mark nine against a 15 is a 15 against the lefty that's going to be an f9 and ul washington comes up pitch to him 34 blank space 25 against the lefty it's a single and now he's tired john wathen pitch 52 possible strikeout against righty nothing 13 l6 Rope for the double play. A two is a runner on second. There's no runner on second, so that's just an L6. And that brings up Hal McRae. Hal McRae, pitch 31. No star line because he's bats right. 24, F9. And John makes it through that inning. All right, ninth inning, Quisenberry trying to shut them down. Keep them off the, pool, the scoreboard for the last inning. See if they can get a miraculous ninth inning rally against uh, Zone and the Twins. Quisenberry against Smalley, 63. He's batting left, so no star line, 46, F7. Four in a row for him. John Castino. Pitch, 62. Possible strikeout, 11. Nope, to the minus 4. 45, G4, out 4 to 3. And Ron Jackson. Pitch to him, 56. Possible walk, 14. No go. 65, P4. Quisenberry puts 6 straight down. And here comes the bottom of the, the ninth for um, the Royals. They got Porter, Hurdle, and Aikens coming up. Three bats I'll probably want to keep in there. Uh, Zon is tired, but we're going to try and get the complete game out of him. Porter, lefty on a lefty. He's not that great a bat. Maybe I will pinch hit for him. Let's see if we can pinch hit against the lefty. Amos Otis. Let's do that. Amos Otis 5. Just to see if we can get something going on here. All right. Pitch 22. Blank 36. Star line 5. Out, five, out 3 unassisted. Did not help any. Otis is batting 194. He's way under where he was in real life. Clint Hurdle. He's a lefty also, but he's got the big bat. We're going to leave him in there. 55. Possible strikeout plus. <laughs> Should have brought a righty in. Um, against him, uh, lefty. That'll be a 25 minus 4 is 21. Strikeout. Yeah, should have brought a righty in. And brings up Willie Aikens. 320. He's a lefty. I'm leaving him in there at this point. 64, blank space. 22, out 4 to 3. And the, the, the Royals, once again, have absolutely nothing to show uh, in the way of offense. Um, and this has been a theme for them. Cezanne gets a complete game win, split off another, split off another loss. Cezanne, that's 6 9 now. Had a, had a pretty damn good line for him. Uh, nine innings pitched, six hits, two runs, one earned, one walk, four strikeouts. Splitorf picks up loss number seven. That's not a good line. Four innings, eight hits, five runs, five earned, zero walks, zero strikeouts, and a home run. Um, Kansas City drops to 43 and 32. Minnesota moves up to 34 and 40. And that was inside pitch. Twins at the Royals. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.